I am Ivo Dalder, the president of the Chicago Council on Global Affairs. We are uh, an educational kind of business. We uh, try to help people understand what's happening in the world and why it should matter to them. The biggest challenge we always face is make sure that we have enough revenue to cover our expenses. Uh, we're an organization that uh, depends on donors, both individuals and corporate, uh, as well as foundations, to do really everything we have. We have virtually no endowment. We, we're kind of an eat what you uh, kill kind of organization. We go out and find a lot uh, of people who uh, believe in the mission and are willing to support what we're trying to do. So the big challenge is always uh, if, as you as you want to grow and as you build up a, uh, a new organization to make sure that the revenue can cover it. Uh, and that's a daily a daily challenge for an organization, a nonprofit organization like our own. You know, the best advice I ever had uh, actually came from Barack Obama. I was fortunate enough to work for him as a, uh, an ambassador in Europe. And he, uh, early on in his presidency, went to Europe and told uh, a group of young European uh, students, he said, I hear, I come to Europe to listen, learn, and lead. And that's been my mantra actually since I heard that in 2009, both when I was ambassador and, and ever since. Uh, particularly in any new organization, if you step in into some new leadership role, you should some, spend time listening to what the people have to say, learn from them before you decide how to lead. If you turn it under, around and you say, I'm gonna lead without knowing what people want, without having really learned uh, about the business, you're bound to fail. The only way to succeed is to spend some time understanding, listening to people, understanding what they have to say, and then see if you can chart a direction and bring people along in that new direction. Well, I try to be open. Uh, I have a, uh, my door to my office is always open. Uh, unless I'm meeting with somebody. I want to uh, make sure that, that I'm approachable, uh, that I can always at any time, uh, I'm, I'm ready to talk about any issue that uh, anyone has, uh, that my uh, schedule allows for uh, people to walk in or to say I, have, I need 15 minutes with Evo, uh, can, I, uh, can I come and see him? And that the answer is as long as much as possible, the answer is, uh, is yes. I do think that leaders who are uh, behind closed doors uh, or are unapproachable or where it is as if uh, any time you, you spend with them is, is regarded as a waste of time by the leader, that's not a good example to set. So the best way to say is, that, you know, when you need me, I want to hear from you. Uh, I, every person I meet who uh, we hire, I make very clear that I want to hear from them. I want to hear the bad, I want to hear the good, but I particularly want to hear the bad uh, because we don't want anybody to uh, to be unhappy in, uh, in the organization. And we want them all to work uh, to the best of their abilities and feel that we're all one big team. We're, we're about to launch a major fundraising campaign uh, and we're reaching our 100th anniversary as the Chicago Council on Global Affairs in 2022. Uh, we see that as an opportunity not just to celebrate what we've accomplished in the past 100 years, but to set a new course for the next 100 years. Uh, we were founded at a time of great uncertainty about America's role in the world of an America that was increasingly isolated from the world and was saying we, we really don't need to engage. Uh, our founder said, no, that's the wrong course. We need to understand what's happening in the world and we need to be engaged. We now have a similar situation in which the United States is debating its role in the world. Uh, and an organization like ours can help uh, people understand what that role could be and, and how they can help to bring it about.